Alright, we're good here. Let's see. Dugong is what we wanted. So let's go ahead and... Let me check this out. Dugong is pretty good for an uncommon. First deck is Aurora Beam, two waters, and then one more energy does 50 damage. And then for two waters and two more energy of any type, you get to do uh, Ice Beam, which you can flip a coin of heads, you can paralyze a defending Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's see, yep, I thought I already did, but I want to double check. Let's see, now I can use Low Kick, but it won't do any damage to Doduo because any fighting Pokemon damage will be reduced by 30. So, the way it works in the trading card game, Pokemon can't change their type based on what moves they might learn or anything like that. Basically, whatever the Pokemon's type is, that's how you apply weakness and resistance. Even if it's an attack that doesn't require any of that Pokemon's type of energy, you still, that's their type. And that's why we don't have any of those uh, absolute immunities like you do in the video game, because it's very hard to get around those then. In fact, there's generally no way to do, uh, to get around that. But anyway, let's just end our turn without attacking. So now it's John's turn. He'll draw a card. And then, Fury attack. One. Two. Full heal. So, take a look here quick at full heal. Full heal is a card that removes... Well, nowadays it removes special conditions, and that's Asleep, Confused, Paralyzed, Poisoned, and Burn. Now, Burn wasn't developed by this point in the trading card game, but it'll remove all of those. Now, in the trading card game, Asleep, Confused, and Paralyzed are all mutually exclusive. You can only be one of those at a time. But in addition to that, you can be Poisoned, and then nowadays you can also be Burned, Poisoned, and then one of the other three. Full Heal will get rid of all of those. And uh, it was actually, for a while, they were putting a card called Double Full Heal, which was designed for the two-on-two -two battles. But recently, in the Heart Gold Soul Silver expansions, they reprinted the original Full Heal. In any case, I don't have any use for it right this second. But I think I will attach another energy to Seal. Probably should use the Psychic Energy there. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and evolve Seal into Dugong. And now I can retreat Machop. Machop has a retreat cost of one energy, so I have to discard one energy from it. And then we're going to bring up Dugong. And let's hit the duo with Aurora Beam. 50 damage, and the duo is, of course, knocked out. And he brings up Tauros, and fitting with the theme of the deck, as you'll see in a second. So, Tauros, it's, it's Tauros, uh, from the Jungle Expansion, has two attacks. One of them is Stomp for two colorless energy, or two of energy of any type, I should say. It gets to a coin, it does at least 20 damage. If you get a hedge, it does 30 instead of 20. The second attack is Rampage, and it does 20 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on Tauros. Again, this is a, a Rage uh, Anger deck, as the name implies. And so, uh, the downside of this attack is that you get to flip a coin after the attack, and if Tails, Tauros is now Confused. Now, Confusion works a little bit different in this game than it does in the modern trading card game. So, in this version of the trading card game, Confusion is actually a little bit better because the way it is, when a, a Confused Pokémon attacks, it flips a coin. If Heads, the attack works, but the Pokémon is still Confused. If Tails, the attack does nothing, and the attacking Pokémon does 20 damage to itself. You also apply weakness and resistance for that, because um, some Pokémon are self-weak and some Pokémon are self-resistant, so that matters. The other interesting thing is when you retreat, in this older version of the trading card game, you have to flip after you've discarded your energy. If you heads, you get to retreat. If tails, you don't get to retreat and you're out of your energy for that. So obviously here it's considerably better than it is now, where nowadays you can just retreat, you discard the energy, and uh, then then you're fine, you don't have to flip for it. The only thing you have to flip for nowadays is for actually attacking, in which case, if you get Tails, instead of 20 damage, you place 3 damage counters on that Pokémon. Hope you could follow all of that. In any case, let's go back to my hand and talk about Switch. So, Switch is a very old trainer card. You can see it's, a, it's, a, it's been reprinted numerous times, and on the, the, the original art here, we have a Magnemite and a Kakuna. And the way it works is you get to switch your active Pokémon with one of your bench Pokémon. And the nice thing about that is 
you don't have to discard any energy, it's not retreating. And even nowadays, if you play a Switch card, you can still use your one retreat per turn. So uh, that's pretty cool, and like I said, the Switch has been printed so many times in the trading card game, so it's, it's still around today. Don't have any use for it right now. I do have another trainer, which I think I'll use right now, called Bill. So Bill uh, was reprinted very recently in the trading card game, and uh, it was reprinted as a supporter card, but there are no supporters in this uh, version of the game. Bill is probably the shortest Pokémon card ever written. All it says is, draw two cards, and that's exactly what we'll do. So we drew a Scoop Up, which I may explain later, but we'll see, and a Hitmonchan. I think I'll put Hitmonchan on my bench. Alright, you guys are probably tired of listening to me talking about the individual cards. Let's go ahead and... Let's put a Psychic Energy on... Hmm. Squirtle. And then we'll attack with Aurora Beam. So it does another 50. Tauros has 10 HP remaining. A fire energy is Ben Growlithe. And we get a Haunter. Let's put a water energy on Squirtle. And we'll just do another Aurora Beam. And that's our third prize because Tauros is knocked out. We got, we got an Abra. John plays a Professor Oak now, and this should wrap things up pretty shortly. I don't think he's going to be able to put Rat on the bench. He's going to retreat. Use a Defender. So Defender is a trainer card. It's very similar to Plus Power, which is still around. Plus Power is still around. Defender hasn't been reprinted in a very long time. So I'll just read it on there. It says, uh, it's, it's sort of like a Pokemon tool, but it isn't. Um, what it is, you attach it to your, one of your Pokemon. And uh, any damage done by attacks to that Pokémon during your next turn is reduced by 20 for each one you have attacks. But as the after the end of your opponent's next turn, it does go away. And I'm going to put a Defender on his deal so I can't knock it out this turn. And yep, I have a full bench now. energy. Now, the reason it's not like a Pokemon tool, Pokemon tools, you can only attach one to a Pokemon. Defender and plus power, you can attach up to four, because that's how many you can have in your deck. So let's use Aurora Beam, and it'll do 30. And I should have figured he had Eradicate. Finish the turn without attacking? That's weird. Should have retreated. Now, the AI in this game is not 100%. In any case, let's just finish this off with the Roar Beam. And that's my last prize, so that's four. I win! And then after every game you win, you get a couple of... Booster packs, that's right. Now, they don't use the direct regular sets from the trading card game sets that came out, although those are marked on the cards in the game. What they do instead, they have this odd thing where they made up their own uh, four sets. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we get. Let's see, Flareon, Butterfree, da -da. And again, another booster pack, Evolution. It's not too bad, not real great. Now you notice we got some basic energy there. So each pack is laid out. We get one rare, a couple uncommons, and the rest are commons. So before the next part, I'm actually going to replay John a couple more times off camera to build up a few more cards, and I'll explain how things go on from there. So this has been uh, part two of Let's Play the Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy. Stay tuned for the next part coming soon.